Hello and welcome to Inflatable Sub Authority. Today we will be reviewing the Jilly electric pump. So I'll show you how to use it and we will be pumping up the Jilly Mino 12.6 touring board. So stay tuned. Just wanted to mention to hook this up, um, you use a cigarette lighter. So in this case, as you can see, I have it attached into my car here. Not the greatest car I know, but you know, it'll do. So it's in the cigarette lighter just right over here. Excuse the dirtiness and whatnot. So I recommend also um, making sure that the car is running because it will drain some battery and you don't want to go to a place where you're paddling and then let's just say the battery is drained. So at least with the alternator running, um, it's not very hard on the battery. So every single time I inflate this up, I have the car running. So now we have the board sort of unraveled. So now we're just going to connect it to connect the pump. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. First off, you want to make sure that this pin is up. So right now it's down. So if you're inflating and the pin is down and you take the hose off, it's just going to deflate again. So make sure, very, very important, keep that pin up. So now you want to put this guy in here like so. I like to twist it until it finds sort of a little area, just like that. Put a little, tiny bit of force and then you twist it in. This one goes on pretty good. Um, I find that the Jilly hose attachment does go on a lot smoother compared to a lot of other ISUP hoses. So pretty smooth, you don't have to force it too much. Next, you got your little gauge here. So right now it says that zero PSI hasn't started yet. So you wanna set your PSI first. So first off, this button is PSI bar. So if you're, I guess, in the UK, Europe, use bar. If you're in Canada, uh, United States, use PSI. So you choose the PSI level. So in this case, for this stop, I would make it about 15 PSI. So I'd select that. And then I would start it. So now that we have that selected, you just press this power button and it'll go. Now it's starting to make noise. So this is sort of the first stage of the pump that's um, inflating the air. So as you can see, the board is starting to just kind of rise a bit. So now that the board has taken shape, it now kicks into that second gear. So you can see. It's steadily pumping PSI into the board. All right, so now it is done. Simply attach this, pin is up so it's not deflating. Put this guy down. And then you can just detach the cigarette lighter from the car, turn off the car, and you're good to go to the water. Overall, I think that this pump is very workable. Um, I do like that it attaches very easily, uh, especially with uh, Jilly models anyway, but it can be used for other sub models like iRocker, Nixie, Power, whatever. They almost all have the same sort of valve. Uh, I also like the speed of it. It's a pretty quick little electric pump. It's very handy. I do like the handle as well. Uh, there's something just about having that handle where it kind of just makes it feel a little more portable. Nice to kind of carry around. I personally use a little... Uh, a little bag like this just to transport it but I also really like that they keep the attachments on here so if you you know let's just say you're out at a cabin or something and you want to inflate 
boards and let's just say you know inflatable so like an inflatable kayak or even floaties etc there's different valve attachments that stay on here which is i think pretty handy um yeah overall though i do like this pump good pump so what i like to do before i pack the boards up is that i actually like to deflate the board using the pump so we'll show you how to do that right now the nozzle is at the deflate option on the left hand side there's the inflate option so just put the nozzle deflate option and then you press power right here and it will start sucking all the air out of the board which means that you can fold it better so it's a neat little hack that you can do with this pump. Um.